if I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful? Uh, okay. You can't stop though, right? You can't stop no. though, right? You no. can't You can't stop though, right? You can't no. stop though Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to In The Mix With Ken. If you are new here, I am Ken. Welcome to another one of my videos, you guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on, so you not miss when I post a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. Make sure y'all join the Ken Wait or No Way, period, okay. Okay, so today y'all, we doing a makeup look, a little cute, simple makeup look for the beginners. Something to give a little pop. Y'all know I normally don't do eyeshadow, but the other day I accidentally did a little eyeshadow and everybody was giving me like, baby girl, your makeup is so cute. Did you put that on your channel? So maybe I will make it re-record it. And I added a little purple this time to give it a little extra mmm, mmm. And yeah, so if you wanna see how I got this look, make sure y'all keep watching this video. A little quick makeup look. And of course, y'all already know, um, yeah, so today we're doing our makeup or whatever, and it's gonna be like basically a date night, a little quick look that I do. I get a lot of looks like how you do makeup, do you have any makeup looks, y'all? I'm not a makeup artist, I do not know how to do makeup at all. So, this is for the girls that can't really do makeup but you want to look cute. So, it's giving, I'm not a makeup artist, but baby, you would have thought I was okay. So, tonight I'm drinking my wine, I don't remember the name of it, but oh, it's a sweet red wine. Y'all, so freaking good, so freaking good. And I actually did this look the other day. Basically what I'm about to redo today. And to be honest with y'all, I did that makeup look in like five minutes. Okay, and today I'm really not even going nowhere today for real y'all, but I low key wanna make some TikToks and today not the best day. Like Mother Nature is whooping my ass. And yeah, so oh shit. Mother Nature is whooping my ass, y'all. And I'm basically just gonna go through and um, do, the, do the makeup tutorial. I don't know if I'm gonna actually talk or not, but I'll give y'all a quick rundown of the names of the products real quick. And I'll also list them in the description box. Yeah, so I'll list all the uh, products in the description box for y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna talk for real cause I feel like that's kind of boring, but. Y'all, see, I'm over here moving way too fast, y'all. Why? Why did I forget to prime my face? So yeah, I'm gonna go in with our our primer. I use the NYX HD Studio Primer. I want to try the gel one. I be seeing all the girls use, but I just be using the white one, and I like to put it on the brush, and I like to just go in and prime my face. Oh, this brush I got a little makeup on it. So I have to go in, y'all, prime my face with the primer. Go with the primer, y'all. 
Find my face first. Yeah, I need to find my, I'm, I lost one of my earrings, so that's the problem. So yeah, we'll let that primer sit first. And I also have this primer, HD Studio Primer. And I also have a NYX Bear With Me um, primer, setter, and refresher. And it's an eight hour spray. I like to spray that on when I prime my face as well. So they're kind of like an extra, you know, primer. Or whatever. So after I, I have my crochet on my eyebrows, so I go into my eyebrows first and just knock that out the way because I feel like your eyebrows just take so freaking long, y'all. And nobody has time for that, like, I be holding my edges when I don't have no do rag on, I just hold my edges. So I'm gonna makeup in. extra concealer from my eyeshadow. I just blend it downward into my eye and use it as a base for my eyeshadow. Again, I'm gonna hold my edges. Y'all know, usually y'all have like a little scarf on, but sometimes I be lazy, so if I'm being lazy, it's what I do. It may require me to do a little touch up, but yeah, whatever. So yeah. My concealer, the one I just used, y'all, it was in the shade um, Classic Tan 332. Okay, let me see that. And these are the Pro Touch Full Coverage Concealers. So Pro Touch Full Coverage Concealers. And I have them in the shade Classic Tan. I have a couple of them, but the first shade I use around my eyebrows is Classic Tan. Classic Tan is also what I'm going to go in with. For my first shade of concealer. Okay, this is a quick little date night look, y'all. Nothing too crazy. Okay, put it in all the areas that you conceal it right here. I just do like a little dot right there because, you know. So I'll let that dry for a quick second. Basically pushing that down into my lip, okay. Period. Period. Okay, now I took us to go all the way up. Yes, ma'am, all the way up. And so wherever my hairline is, like I said, around my nose. Pat, pat, pat. Yes. This right here. I would like to just go in a circle, basically. And kind of go out with a left a little bit, right a little bit. Go down. And like fade it out basically. Blend it, up to my fade it out. Blend it, y'all. Uh... Ooh, y'all, my lips is dry. I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. Hold on. Ooh, that lip gloss looks so good, y'all. This is my friend lip gloss. I like, I love this lip gloss. I lose lip gloss. And find it again all the time. Mm. Mm. That feels real good on my lips. Real good. Alright, y'all. Anyways, gonna continue to plan our forehead out. And I got a widow's peak, y'all, so. My widow's peak made like a little heart, so I go around my widow's peak. 
Concealer down, drag it in. Okay, just like that. Boom. And we're gonna go in with your foundation like normal. So my foundation right now is really not my shade, but I can't find my normal shade right now. So this is what I've been using because the stores out here have been sold out of my shade. And so I normally get um, the. Maybelline Fit Me, and I normally get the shade, I believe it's a 355 and 356. Those are my shades, um, but I was gonna try a little darker, so I wanna try 357 since it's summer, you know, you get a little darker. But yeah, all they had was a 358. So, just a little bit, I just like to do a little tiger stripe. On all the sides. My forehead is little, so I don't, I don't really get carried away. And then same thing down here. And then one line here, y'all. And one line here. That's how I even up my, my foundation, okay? Okay. So now we're gonna take our beauty blender, y'all, and just blend your foundation out as normal. Hold my edges once again, y'all. Go around the rounds. Okay. I like to brush my neck a little bit so that it blends so you're not looking crazy. Okay. Up. Uh, who dog is that? I gonna go around my lip. Same thing here. I'm sorry. It's too dumb. We are looking good, y'all. Period. Period. If I have to blur out right here, y'all, it's because I had a nip slip, okay? So, yeah. Trying to keep it together, but my God, my God. All right, y'all, so now that we have blended the foundation, period, we're gonna go in with our second coat of concealer and I use the shade Warm Tan. This one's you wanna put more toward, the, the first one is always like a lighter, um, concealer. The next one is always going to be more closer to your skin tone, um, your foundation color and stuff. So more like a warm color. If you're going for like a brighter look, like that bright undertone look, you really can use the lighter one again if you want. But me, when I put my setting spray, on, setting powder on, it lightens it up, and you'll see what I mean in here in a little bit. I gotta deal with it to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that out, y'all. And I really don't know how to like contour and highlight for real. So, yeah. And this one, I'm just gonna push right over it. Where I'll put the fur layer concealer. But this one is more to my skin tone. I like the brush it out right above my cheekbones, basically. 
under my lip, brush it out, blend it out, and then up into my hairline, right above my cheekbone, and then down here. This one, I just go in a circular motion again, making sure. And I just do this one a little smaller than the first one. All right, y'all, anyway, somebody had knocked at my door. No, sir. I don't answer the door for people. I don't know, mm-mm. All right, y'all, so now that that second concealer is blended, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Yeah, you know, bring that line down. Okay, okay. <clears throat> bada boom, bada bam, bada bam. All right, so now we're going to contour our face with three dots on each side, right above our cheekbone. Okay. And this you definitely want to let dry for a little bit. And y'all see how that give it a little, that contour give it a little one too. And I like to meet the two right here. Blend it downward, upward, downward, and just a little razzle dazzle. I'll do the same thing. The other side. So now I'm waiting on it to dry, y'all. I'm gonna go in with my friend's palette, y'all. And it's dirty. It's been my makeup drawer, so don't judge me. But it's called Fetch. Her brand was called Fetch. Um, way Too Fetch, I believe. Yep, Way Too Fetch Cosmetics at the bottom right here, y'all. And I'm gonna try to show y'all the palette. It's a little bright, but it's the palette. And it looks like a journal. And on the front, it has Fetch. A term you describe something that's pretty, lovely, nice, charming, appealing, sassy, classy, and glossy. Okay, period. So this is the palette, you guys. Ugh, so freaking bright. Anyways, and these are the shades, y'all. Look at these fucking, whew, look at these fucking pigments, y'all. get into it so I'm just going with this pink look right here oh yes and we're just going to blend 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 oh that's like red it's like fuchsia mmm mmm That's so fucking cute, y'all. I'm gonna have to get one more makeup brush. I think I left my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. One second, y'all. One second, y'all. Anyway, life's great, pussy stick. All right, y'all. So now that we didn't let that sit, I'm gonna take my big brush and I'm just gonna dust all the extra setting powder away. Oh, look at that setting powder. That setting powder makes a difference, honey. Okay, dust that out. Dust it away. 
and then then I'm going with one more coat of the setting spray. I'm gonna comb my lashes out, make them look all fluffy again. And boom, y'all, there go our final look for date night. All right, here I am, you guys. It's the final look. Get into it. Get into it. A little quick look for the girls who aren't a makeup artist, but we are makeup artists, period. So this is a quick little look. I would do this for like date night or going out with my friends. Really any kind of look, y'all. This is really simple, basic looks with a little pop to it. So yeah, you guys, hope you guys like this video. Signing out in the mix with Ken. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? What 